Hi everyone, I'm back uh, with my pulse motor generator. Uh, this is the second video I wanted to do. Uh, this is my solid state over unity device. So what it is, is two components. Uh, the first one is this one here. I'll zoom in on it. This is called a voltage booster. You can buy them on Amazon, they're like 12 bucks. And this one actually does two functions. It can be a boost converter. You can take your voltage, say, from uh, 3 to 24 volts, and you can bump it up to 48 volts if you want. It also works as a buck converter. So if you've got a higher voltage going in, you can drop the voltage down so you can make stuff more efficient. All right, that's the first component. Second component is this. This is really cool. I've got this by accident. What it is, it's a miniature inverter. But if you look at it a little bit closer, there's, I found something very unique about this little inverter. And guess what it is? It's a jewel thief. A jewel thief circuit. So on this side here, you would put uh, 12 volts, and on the other side, it'll come out at 220 volts AC. Now here's the cool part. I'm going to zoom out here again. I have my light bulb. Now this one here, I switched it. It's 8.5 watts LED light bulb. So it takes 120 volts AC to run this light bulb. It puts out 8.5 watts. Here's the freaky part. Little that I understood at the time what the Jewel Thief can actually accomplish. I have here a regular 9 volt battery. Tiny little thing. You know, you put in your electronics and stuff. Well, I am going to make this battery light that light up. 8.5 watts of it. I've actually tested it. This battery lasts about 40 minutes before it dies out. You can run 8.5 watts at 120 volts at 350 milliwatts with this. Little tiny 9 volt battery. You could use it as an emergency light system. You could get two or three, line these up. And you could have an emergency light that'll last you four or five, six hours. Just line up a whole bunch of these guys. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to light it up for you so you can see this incredible over unity device. So I worked out the amount of voltage going into the system using the voltage booster, sending it through the Jewel Thief inverter. Okay, so when it goes in, I think this one's about eight, eight volts right now. It's not full power. It's, it's a used up battery. It's old. So I put it in and I bump up the voltage to seven volts DC, send it the seven volts DC, converts it into enough power to light up that 8.5 watt light bulb at 120 volts at 350 uh, milliamps all because of the inverter it is set up like a jewel thief you see the small inductor there and it has two transistors on either side of it I don't know if you can see it there those two black things on the side of the inductor all right it pulses that DC power into the transformer the transformer does its magic bumps the voltage up now, if I put a full 12 volts DC in this, I'll get 220 volts at 1.4 amps of power, which means it would burn this battery out, but um, I'm not going to do that for this demo. But I'm going to show you this. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to hook this battery up. So, I got it. so watch the light. Make sure the light's in the view there. Do this without dropping it on the floor. This is 
negative and this is positive. There we go. 8.5 watts off a 9 volt battery. All because, see how it goes out? All because of this circuit here. It runs like a jewel thief. So they got the two transistors plus the inductor that ramps up those uh, small voltage that's going in. I'm only from this uh, converter. I'm taking the 9 volt. I'm actually dropping the voltage down and dropping it down to 7 volts from 9. So I got less voltage. That means less draw off this battery. Sending it into the Jewel Thief circuit. Ramps the voltage up. Goes through my capacitor. Boom, I'm lighting up 8.5 watts of power. Now, if I hook this up to uh, a bigger battery source, I can throw 25 watts in there and light it up no problem. But I'm not gonna do that in this demonstration. I just wanna show you these circuits. So yeah, I'll just show you one more time. There, there you go, 8.5 watts. If I take a, a voltage reading off this capacitor here, it was hitting about 145 volts AC. And that's enough to get that uh, light bulb running. Here, let me hook this up. See if I can get her going here. Just let it run. There we go. So I got 7.3 volts going into the system right now. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. That way you can see. Yeah, it's going down a bit. Like this battery I got running right now is pretty dead. It's like super dead actually. It's going down. You can see the voltage. It's actually starting to decline. But it's running my light. 8.5 watts. And if I take a voltage reading at this capacitor, it's 140, 149 volts AC. See, I'll show you one more time. So I thought you would like that. It's a little different than a pulse motor generator. But the cool thing is I can patch this system now into my pulse motor and get huge amounts of power out of it at very efficient. So I can patch this into my uh, my DC out where my bridge rectifier is. Pump that into here, into the um, Jewel Thief, and I can power 25 watt bulb. And I'm only putting three watts of power into the pulse motor, and I'm running a 25 watt incandescent light bulb. So I'll let you guys absorb that, and uh, if you like my channel, give me a thumbs up. Also in the description, I have a link there for uh, my PayPal donation. If you want to donate to help keep my uh, uh, project going and uh, fund it, and hopefully I can get this stuff to the market so people can actually buy this stuff. Uh, it's pretty easy. All this stuff here you can find on Amazon right now. I got two of these guys on order right now. You can buy these uh, voltage boosters on Amazon as well. They're like 12 bucks. Hook them all up solder the connections together and there you go you have an over unity device power goes out in your house or your neighborhood turn this thing on and you got light and that's pretty much it folks so i'll see you in the next video take care for now